<laughs> Hello, so it's business. It's your girl, Corinne Nicole. I'm with the diva, so you already know. This has to be something dealing with my pregnancy or Prince K. So, I am here to share with you guys what I am taking to the hospital in my hospital bag. So, if you'd like to see what I am taking for myself to the hospital when I get ready to have Prince K for a C-section, then keep on watching. Come on, let me see you get gone. Go. Baby mamas, this your song. Been pregnant for way too long. Too long. Now tell the DJ, turn it off. Turn it off. If she a baby mama, she gon' do that baby mama. Work. She gon' put it on you. Uh -huh. She gon' do that baby mama. Drop, 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 all right, so before we start on what's in my hospital bag for the uh, delivery of Prince K, make sure you click that red button down below that says subscribe. And next to it, there's a button that looks like this. Yeah. Click it, and then you'll be notified anytime that we do a video. I'm also thinking about doing a whole month dedicated to Prince K. Um, from delivery all the way up until a whole month of having a newborn with our family to see how that goes. So I'm thinking of some names. If you guys have any idea what we should call that, leave that down below. Because I'm thinking Prince K Ember, Prince K December, Prince K Christmas. Who knows what we're thinking. So whatever you have, leave it down in the comment section below so let's get into this bag right here all right so first let's talk about this bag i got this bag from <laughs> city trans um all the bags that i had at the house for some reason i can't find a nice size double bag and i'm like i got all these bags and i can't find a nice size weekend or a night bag or a double bag so this bag right here actually purchased from my local City Trends for only $13.99 and it is a very sturdy bag. It is leather. It has the two carriage straps. It also has a shoulder strap. <clears throat> it comes with a back zipper. So this would be good to just tuck my phone in or whatever else I go. Oh, it is a fake pocket, you guys. Oh no, the pocket goes the wrong way. That is why this bag was $13.99, you guys. The, the pocket is upside down. Like, you think that you would put stuff in here and the pocket goes like that. But this pocket goes up. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is hilarious. Okay, so that's why it was on sale. We know now. Don't buy anything on sale. It's this dress. I think it don't have a defect. It has a defect. So then it has this double zipper so it can zip all the way around for both sides and on the inside it is just gray the outside I mean not gray because it's this tan on the outside you know it has these floor prints on things like that I love floor print on the inside it's just tan and as you can see I kind of have it jam packed and there are still a couple things that are not already in the bag so well, let's get into it first I have a pouch that is going to be the hair pouch Ooh, sorry, excuse me. So I have my even ebon, however you say that, edge control. I have some bands that can go around my edges if it does not lay down right while we're there. I have a scrunchie. I have two combs, a rat tail, and a wide tooth comb, and a brush for my edges. I'm also gonna put my scarf and my bonnet in here as well. But since I'm still wearing them, they're not in the bag as of right now. So that is the little pouch for hair. And it's just a little mix NYX um, pouch makeup bag. All right. So let's go to this bag. This bag is my toiletries bag. This bag is black, pink, and white. And it has a little hold it like this and it's very big very room i put a lot of things in there as you can see it's not too full right now so let's get into that so you guys can see um fyi i am having a c-section i've had it a couple i have had two before so i kind of know what to expect what's going to happen and what's not going to happen so and as you can see i just have everything that i need in there um i have soap contact solution because I can't wear my contacts during the surgery so this box has contact solution and the um what is it called and a storage case 
in here if I'm not mistaken. I think this one does have that and a storage case for my contacts. So if I wear my contacts to the hospital that morning, I can take them out, put them in here, sterilize them, and then put my glasses on. My glasses are something I'm going to have to make sure I pack. Um, toothbrush, wait, toothpaste, deodorant. Uh, I actually have two toothbrushes in here. Weird, I know. <laughs> I picked these up because I just thought it was cute. And then I realized I already had one in my bag. I have some Dove Deep Moisture Body Wash. Just in case I don't want to need to take a shower. I have hand sanitizer so it can go right next to the bed instead of me get, having to try to get up and make it to the hand sanitizer that's in the room because you know they're at the door when you come into the hospital room. This is another body wash. It was already in the bag. Um, I have some fresh to go wipes. So that's be something quick that you can use to clean up with or freshen up with. I have mouthwash and then I have some lotion and this is just the Equate Beauty compared to Vaseline Tissa Care Cocoa Radiant Lotion Moisture Cocoa Butter Care Lotion so that's what that is and I figured lotion is going to be something very good for us to have okay all right so let's get into this other stuff oh I got another pouch here and then I have a third pouch here and this pouch just has ooh, I messed the zipper up on this one. Okay, so I guess I fixed it. So this pouch right here is like rose gold ish with all these cute butterflies on it, and inside here are just sanitary napkins. As you guys know, um, I will be having a C-section. Um, the pads they give you are super, 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 super uncomfortable. So I do take these so I can have some comfortable ones on my way home. Next thing I have are some non-slip socks. Of course, they're pink. Pink is my favorite color. Probably should have got blue, but pink is my favorite color. Doesn't really matter. Um, so I got these plain pink ones. And then I have these pink and white ones like this with the hot pink um, non-slip bottoms. Non-slip is going to be very good for the hospital. So when they make me walk, I do not fall and hurt myself and have to stay in there any longer. Um, I have pajamas, which I've learned during my times of having babies that the bottom really doesn't matter. It's really the top because your bottom half is always covered. But it came in a set. I actually got this from my local Rose Express. And it's just this pink and white. And it has these glasses and bottles on it. And the reason why I got it is because I really wanted and something. Hearts. And hearts. I really wanted something that just had buttons that I could unbutton and button back. For when I am breastfeeding, per se, and in the back of it just says, just keep partying, okay? So I did get that, and it will be comfortable, it's easy to maneuver, it's not going to be too wild, and then the pants that go with it. But like I said, the pants aren't a big deal. Yep. Alright, then I have my going home outfit, and it's just some leggings that's going to be real comfortable because I can throw on my Uggs. And the waist is very stretchy, so it does not interfere with my incision. And then I have this t-shirt, this long t-shirt, that I actually got and wore during my pregnancy, which is going to come in handy because it's going to cover up the belly bump that I still have. And all black, you can never go wrong. You don't have to worry about any leaks and spills and things like that from um, the bleeding. Here you go. Then, of course, I have some... Tummy control, let's see, for granny panties. <laughs> I have two pairs that I'm taking with me, a gray pair and a black pair. And, of course, a nursing bra. We're not going to show all of that. And then I do have this robe that I am taking. Now, will I be able to maneuver this robe? Uh, we shall see, but I am taking this one. This is one that I actually picked up at Ross, and it looks like this. <clears throat> and it has a hood on it. And it's very cozy, very nice, very soft, very just something that you want to have with you at all times. So I do have that. And that is everything that is in that bag for right now. Uh, there are only a couple things I need to add to the bag, which will be my headscarf and my bonnet. And, of course, I will 
I will probably put my camera stuff in this bag instead of me carrying my purse. Because I don't want to have too many bags uh, hanging around and stuff like that. So, 9 times out of 10, I'll put those things in here as well. And you guys can see that this bag is pretty huge and I can put a lot of things in there. So, again, I am looking for a cool title for a month of Prince K. I'm looking for a cool title. And this was What's in My Hospital Bag. So, you guys, hopefully you guys see this before Wednesday. I'm going to try to edit them soon. And until next time, bye. Peace out.